Okay. Finally, something new. Something big and recognizable. Finally, something German. Here is the pride of the Third Reich fleet and the pride of the Führer himself. Ladies and gentlemen, I am presenting the first video of the series of building the German battleship Bismarck. We will start building the model, of course, by assembling a few elements all together. These few elements are the hull, the main deck and some parts of the superstructure. When we leave them separate, it will be much easier to paint them. What you see is the rear superstructure, which contains, for example, the main mast of the ship. The mast will also be glued before painting. This is probably the most detailed part so far, and there is still some missing. This time I didn't forget to drill holes for the chains before painting the deck. Ok, time to work on the hull. It is a strange job, namely putting and sanding. Something I don't like. 
but also something on which the later effect depends. This is how the model looks ready for painting. The ship had different paint jobs. I will do the most difficult one, the Baltic camouflage from 1931. I decided so, because the model is going to be the crown of my collection, and I won't spare my patience or skills when building it. Besides, I already have a template. Specifically, a model that I have already started once, and which will be probably never be finished. I started building it when I had much less experience, and I wasn't ready for a model of this size and with this much details. There are too many mistakes here that I won't forgive myself for. The painting work starts, of course, with a primer. I cover everything with several layers and wait about 24 hours for everything to dry. After that time, I cover the wooden part of the deck with wood-colored paint. Such a light paint on a dark base requires two or three coats. Now it is time for something that usually gave me great pleasure, but with such a large model it was just torture. Painting individual planks, which can be counted in the hundreds. Here I used two additional colors. In my opinion it is enough to give an interesting look of the deck. After covering with wash I think it will be not so bad.
Before wash, I cover the entire wooden deck with clear varnish to protect the paint layers. I apply my favorite AK wash using a paintbrush. Fortunately, this can be done carelessly. It's such a rest after painting individual planks with a 1mm paintbrush. I wait about half an hour for the wash to dry enough and wipe off the excess with a cotton swab. A very satisfying activity that shows the results of all the work invested. And there we have it, the deck is ready. Mm, I wouldn't be so sure. There are two big Nazi spasticas missing here. But I don't want to expose them. I will cover them with grey material. There was a time when Bismarck sailed with the markings covered. So I will only paint a red background if it would accidentally stick out. For this, I will use very diluted red paint. I don't want it to look like a red stain on a plastic model, but like real wood painted red. Before painting the deck stuff, I have to mask all the wood with masking tape, because I will paint it with an airbrush. Also an exhaustive job.
paint the grey deck with a paintbrush. Very diluted paint with two or three layers. almost forgot about the third type of the deck. I have almost all parts of the superstructure already painted grey, but those where there will be no grey color, I will paint white right away. Later, I will complete the black color when painting the camouflage. Ok, let's go back to the hull. I painted grey, just like the other parts of the ship. Then I paint the part under the waterline. This is my own paint mixture, unfortunately I don't know the proportions, or even colors I used. This is the black waterline. These dark areas at the front and back of the ship are not random. They made the ship appear smaller from a distance. And thanks to the painted white fake waves, it was supposed to pretend that this was moving forward. Very clever. And that's basically it. In the next part we will paint the camouflage do weathering and add some elements. Actually, after the weathering is done, we will also be able to glue all the pieces together. Well, it will be probably worth the wait. Thanks for watching and see you there.